Hello, my beautiful earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Virgo, my brothers and sisters, and my earth cousins, Taurus and Capricorn. I am here to do your full moon read. Guys, if you've been here before, welcome back to Powered by the Moon 7. Like and subscribe if you have not yet. If you're first time here, please like and subscribe. I appreciate any support I could get on this channel and I appreciate anyone that has returned and continues to. It makes me happy to see when I finally learned how to read my chart on YouTube that I get a lot of the same people. So that's good. I like that. I'd like to get more, but you know what? This is a, a slow growing process and I'm patient for it. And um, whatever I get from my spirits in these messages, I'm always grateful. They send a lot of wisdom into my uh, messages through me. And um, I don't know. I just need to thank them. It's I like to do it usually before my reads, which I did. But I just want to thank them again with you guys. So what is going on, Earth Signs? We are here to do your full moon read. What are you releasing this full moon in Leo? Uh, you release on full moons. You attract on new moons. So let's find out. what it is you're releasing okay guys I've been so proud of myself I got all my reads I didn't I did not book any reads for Valentine's Day today is Valentine's Day I did not book any because I wanted to get out so many different videos I wanted to get everybody's uh, full moon read out I got stopped last time because of stuff going on at the restaurant I managed then I got uh, a you versus them that's up and out Monday morning fills came out this morning yeah so just some good stuff up if you want to go check it out um also check your moon rising and sun guys take what resume resonates leave what doesn't if you it doesn't if you don't own it if it doesn't resonate don't own something don't make something fit okay this is for entertainment purposes only for 18 and older Cross watchers, you're always welcomed here. You are here at free will. All right? There we go. We got the discount. Let's go. Let my God guide it by you. Oh, at the end, I'll do a uh, moonology and some cards on each side ind individually and not as a, a collective earth read. What is in the energies of my earth sign spirit? Let's go. Let my God guide it by you. The energies of the earth signs. Guys, I do readings. Uh, go down in my description box. I got some emails and stuff there. It's $45 for your first time. After that, it's $60. Full spread read. No cutoffs. No cliffhangers. No, you owe me $10 more. It is what it is. I don't like that, so I'm not going to do it to people. That's If other people do that, that's okay. That's their style. Me, I don't like it because, one, I don't know how to stop, and I don't want to. And then I'm going to get nosy in somebody's business and not even give them the information they were there for. So, that's what I got right about you. Last one out. For my earth signs. Hmm. Last one out for my earth signs. Yep. All right. I do do some shuffling now before I come on because... But I didn't lease because I thought I was going to use what I've been using for this series. But I was called uh, the Golden Tarot instead of the Light Share. Which was one of them. I got that back two years ago when I first started. Whatever. Earth. What the hell? Earth signs, you're trying to be very logical and very, uh, you're leading with your head and your heart fully into a manifestation that you want. Full heart, full head, full logic. You know what's going on. You're manifesting this very heavily. King of Swords, cup of, uh, King of Cups, and Magician. You get two more kings and you're the damn emperor without getting the emperor out. What is it that you're manifesting that you're putting so much logic and a, um, assertiveness? I know what I am, but and with so much love. 
I like it, guys. Let's go find out what you're manifesting. You love Ace of Cups. All right, that's beautiful. Yes, and you have to do that. And guys, write down what you want in a relationship, what you don't want, um, what, you would what you will take and what you don't, and know what you really want. So, you know, the universe and divine knows to find that person for you, right? They're going to know, oh, they got the similar. And you ask to find to find that person for you. Don't bring me somebody else that's going to half love me. Or when things aren't their way, they go south. Don't bring me somebody that I'm not living up to their expectations in some way or another. Bring me somebody that just loves me and wants to be around me. And you already know that we're a genuine match. So if you're manifesting new love, that's beautiful. But make sure you're asking for everything you want the person to be. And make sure divine knows to only bring you somebody that they want you to be. You see what I'm saying? Divine gets to see. I'm just saying. It's caused you strife. So you, you're walking away from some strife, some heavy stuff. Uh, but you're walking away from it. Five of Swords in reverse. Conflict, strife, um, battling, you know. That's battle. You're completing something out and waiting for the new. Or are you completing a cycle with one person and waiting for a new cycle to begin with that person? but you're manifesting it to be in a new way, a very strong, I'm sorry guys, I didn't get my camera angle right. Okay, but, um, okay, sorry. <laughs> That's a little crooked, but I don't care. Um, I don't know if you're manifesting, I don't have a, a you're completing a cycle, though, and you're waiting on a new love that you were manifesting heavily. Whether this be an ex or a new love. I don't have this Six of Cups out here yet. I don't have anything that shows me that it's past. It's just heavy, heavy manifestation on your part about love. And you're waiting for that new cycle. The world is a completion. But it also is starting a new cycle. It's cycles. The beginning and ending of cycles. Two swords in reverse and juggling. So you kind of know what you want, but you're juggling around. Maybe you're just juggling around, you know, right now your finances, your uh, fun, your home life to your uh, work life. Having fun, what you can, just juggling around energies. Because you're waiting on something over here. And they, these don't have anything to do. Like, you know you're not a crossroad. You know what you want in this relationship. But right now, while you're waiting, you're just juggling. And I don't think it's a person. I think it's just, like I said, your work life, your uh, out with friends life. What else is going on here? Tower. There's going to be a tower moment on this, guys. You're going to get that person that you're manifesting in. You're going to get them. It's going to be beautiful, too, because if you're manifesting with this in mind, you kidding me? So right now we have all the fixed signs with the world being on here, Scorpio, Leo, uh, Taurus, and uh, Aquarius. And then you got um, Virgo and Gemini, Scorpio. You're not, you're coming out of confusion. You know what you want. You really know what you want. I can't believe this is your energy coming out like that. I'm just, this blows me away because I haven't seen that kind of manifestation, manifesting in, I don't know how long, in a week. So you're not confused at all. 
You're just juggling your time. You're biding time right now while you're waiting around for this manifestation to come out. Now, if this is a job, it's a job. If it's a friend, it's a friend. You take it as it resonates, as I said. Guys, didn't I just say if you get the another king or two? So you got the king of pentacles here. But it's in reverse. So you may not be... Um, He could be giving, but he also could be um, the stability of your life, right? Um, so, I feel you're not giving. You're not feeling, I don't know. Sorry, guys. Let me pull one on this king of Pentacles. Because I don't want to get this confused right now. I don't like to be confused with my readings. This is going so great. I don't want to. Like, you know what you want. You're not confused. You don't feel there's any other options for you. So you're going to wait. You're going to wait for that manifestation. But why is the King of Pentacles here? What is going on? You're coming out of resting and you're making that final decision. And maybe that's what it was is, you know, you're using your intuition. There's the Six of Cups. Queen of Wands. Drama. In reverse, so thank goodness, right? Why is this King of Pentacles here, please? Hmm. There may be not to be stability somewhere else in your life that carries burdens. Because I don't see how this is a burden. You, you straight know that this is a manifestation. You, you really know you're waiting. There might be another area in your life that is burdensome. I'm feeling that. And now, you waiting, you could be waiting and it could get burdensome. So, guys, we wait for no one. No one. If they want to come, they will come. Divine will send them. If you're waiting for a new love, Divine will send it. If you're waiting for an ex, Divine will send them back to you. We already saw the tower. They're, the ex or the new one is going to come. But date. Have fun in the meantime. It's not going to hurt anybody. And especially if you don't know who this person is. And you may know this person. You may be friends with this person. But you're wanting more, right? So you, you're waiting on that person. Now I just got this. A spirit just brought something to that Somebody here may be waiting on a friend. A co-worker, somebody they know to start a new uh, love to see where things can go. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. And it's burdensome that you want whoever that's resonating. And I still have the other story where I could feel that this is going along, going along, but you're burdened by some of your stability in your life. You may feel like you don't have enough to offer a new person to this new love that could be that story so there's two stories here and that could be the two <laughs> the decision's been made though by you what you're gonna do Ooh, eight of cups in reverse five of pentacles in reverse four of pentacles in reverse eight of wands uh emperor sorry guys i couldn't get it out you may be waiting for an apology and for somebody to come back towards you. But you're waiting for them to come back towards you. You have hope for it. And if this is a friend, you really have hope for this. And they're not going anywhere. I love when spirit comes in and gives me my second story. Yeah, there's a story. There's foundation here. There's, there, it's workable. This whole situation's workable. You could build sturdy foundation with this person. Whoever it is, friend, boss, somebody new, somebody that you know is around that you very attracted to, but it's not happening yet, or an ex. But there, it, it, it's, it's buildable. Whatever this is, is buildable for you, and it's workable. That card tells me you can do it. 
It's the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is working. It's foundation, a heart, strong. Look, it's six is, oh, wow. Six of swords in reverse, tower. Knight of cups, knight of pentacles, slow but romantic. This is going to come in, guys. Good for you. Is there anything else to the top before I go into advice and outcome? Four of Wands. Yeah, this is a very sturdy, this will be a very sturdy, very divinely guided relationship. So as I've been saying, this whole read is the divine, and I've saw the tower twice now, a judgment. It could be an ex that wants to take a leap of faith with you after some time and patience. You need to work on yourself. They need to work on themselves. You may want an ex back. There was once a wish fulfillment. And you guys, but you're manifesting it, so you want this. Now, if you want this, and you haven't spoken up, except for into the universe, maybe you should, because I've seen the Eight of Wands there, because it's burning in you. It, it's not putting you all, you don't feel so secure about this, okay? You don't feel secure about your own manifestation. When I see the Ten of Pentacles, and I mean the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. But you're making the decision to wait to build on this divinely guided union. Four of Wands, marriage. If I did Twin Flame, Twin Flame. Now, somebody could be making a judgment call if this is not an ex. On taking that leap, they could have been a friend and... They've spent a lot of time with you, worked with you. You don't think you're the wish fulfillment. They're single. They're looking at you. Let's go to uh, vice and outcome. Then I'll start with um, Taurus, the fixed sign of the our zodiac of the Earth zodiac. Let my God guide my Holy Spirit. Let's go. A vice and outcome for Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We're very practical people anyway, so Ten of Pentacles, go ahead. Ten of Wands in reverse. Think about your coins right now, and I know we're uh, Earth signs, we're Pentacles, especially you Taurus and Capricorn. Like, don't get between the Taurus and their money for sure, or Capricorns. They need us, they need to see it all laid out and count it twice a day, and then they, of course, they don't need to at all. And Virgos are just very practical about it and organized on how it's going to be spent. I think that's where my Libra comes in financially for me. Led by God, guided by you. But we work damn hard. The Virgos are the workers of the Zodiac, but so are the other two Earth signs. We just happen to be more the worker. Oh my God, 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 God. That's where my Virgo does kick in. Is I work hard to make good money and spend it like a Libra. Oh my God, 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 God. Let's go. Look it. Remember I showed you? And look what popped out. You guys are headed to total abundance. You're headed towards happiness. You need to focus on your money. Focus on your career. And wait for divine to bring this in. Just like I was saying. You're, you're, you got money coming towards you at least, or you got money flowing in, one of the two. You got a nice steady income here too. Have a family with this person once they decide to come towards this. We're going to see in the outcome. See, Hermit, Virgo, you're going within, you're going to just stay where you're at. Find out what you want to do with your money until this person shows back up or, um, Realizes they want to be with you. Can't go interfering in somebody's relationship. I get it. Don't. I'm not saying go talk to this person because, like I said, divine's gonna bring them anyways. All right. So, um, guys, I wouldn't start to feel the defeat. Stay in your Ten of Pentacles, your Abundance. Get out of this page of one and the Six of uh, 
wands in reverse, which is victory, which is saying that you may be feeling this is not going to happen. Well, sometimes when you do that, you're putting into the universe, this is not going to happen. I've messed up meditating so many times, babe, so I get it. But if you, thoughts become thanks. Okay? And if you're already feeling like this is just going to be burdensome or, you know, I don't feel this is going anywhere yet. It's taking a really long time. That's why you're probably hermit starting to go within. But you need to remember there's some money coming around. You're working on your money. Can you tell me the outcome of this? Will there somebody be around soon? You're becoming, you're, you're self-efficient. You're nine of pentacles. You're confident. you got to get confident. You're going to become confident of this eventually. I'm glad I see the nine of pentacles next to that six of wands, right? You're not going to be deceived at the end of this, okay? Shadow work's being done, probably by you or them. You're coming out of it. Whoever it is is coming out of the shadows. Probably did some work on themselves. You did yourself, which is really good. Um, you want that in any relationship you're going into. Nine cups, ten. Anything else for outcome? The high priestess so you're using your intuition on this yeah you're going to move forward it's going to move forward eventually chariot it's going to go in the direction you want okay guys you just have to give it the time yeah because luck will of fortune ten of swords you're coming out of something that you needed to heal up anyways before you could move forward and or this person could come towards you you needed some healing done Ten of Swords and Shadows in reverse next to the world. Nine of Pentacles. You needed to go through that. You needed to go through the shadow works of yourselves. Doing the dark night of the soul and the hard work is not an easy thing. But once you do, it's like, I don't know, like all this weight goes off you because you owned your stuff. You went through the shadows of everything. You told your truth. You spoke your truth to yourself. And that's the hardest thing to do is tell yourself the truth. Especially when you don't like what it is you're telling yourself. That's why I always say, own your bullshit. So you don't clutter up a bunch of it and then wonder why you got this big, huge, dark night of the soul to go through. What's this cherry? Kansas here, sorry. More waiting. You're going to wait for this, though. It's going to be a little bit of a wait, guys. The sun will eventually come in. Somebody's watching. Night of, or, page of Wands. Knight of Wands. They're watching. God, you're so great in this, right? But down here, you get a little dark in your advice and outcome. And I think it's a little being a little cynical. Against your manifestation. Against are they coming? Against, you know? Um, but you know, you can start a new start. It's coming. It's just waiting here. Waiting at the end of here. I'll go one more. I was going to make that the outcome the end, but you're waiting still. It's death. So there is a transformation. Somebody's going through a transformation. This relationship's going through a transformation. This could be a friend or a co worker you're very into, and it's transforming. But you got to wait. You got to wait for this transformation. And you can't rush those things. And if you're not going through it, then you got to wait for that person because that's in your best interest and theirs to wait. If you're going through the shadow work and the transformation to transform this, then you better wait because you can't drag somebody into this and your manifestation may not come and you will be waiting a whole hell of a lot of time if you're not doing your transformation work or if they're not. Okay, this, like I said, it could be an ex-partner, this could be a friend, this could be a co-worker. Somebody's been having to wait because somebody's needing to do the job to transform this relationship. Just saying. 
And it's telling me with the chart right here, and the shadow, and the death card here, until that's done, this is not going to move forward. But it can eventually, with a lot of confidence, creati creativity, passion behind it, Queen of Wands. You know, showing up sexy together. You'll get out of your head eventually. You won't feel abandoned by this. The new love is coming. Ace of Cups. But you gotta wait. The healing. I'm telling you, this is all about waiting for somebody to do the work. And you can manifest your ass off. But if the person isn't doing the work, or you haven't done the work, you're gonna be waiting, waiting, waiting. Might as well be waiting. Okay. So, Earth Science, take this as it resonates. Let's go ahead and get into your uh, moonology. Let's start with Taurus here, Spirit. Let's go for Taurus, my Earth cousin. My mom's a Taurus. She's crazy and stubborn. So, I already read some signs there. There's a lot of uh, fire here. We saw Virgo twice. We saw Scorpio here. I saw all the fixed signs on the world card. I saw uh, Scorpio again, Scorpio and Virgo. I saw some cat. Aries. Love that guy guided by you. Let's go. Love that guy guided by you. For tours, what's going on with them? That's one out spirit. Good read, Earth. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't pull these because I'm not burning these. I really like these cards. It's the only deck you'll probably see me pull from you know, without shuffling, without hoppers. Okay, uh, last quarter moon in uh, Aries. Work through your feelings. It's the same message, Taurus. Work through your feelings. Do your work. And you may need to work through your feelings and uh, come to some resolution with your feelings while you're waiting for somebody else. Trust all will be well. Oh, look at I picked two. I didn't mean to, so I'm going to give you both. Uh, last quarter moon and, okay. Uh, Pisces, let's talk more, feel more. So... You're really needing to feel through your, let's talk, feel more, work through your feelings. Taurus, you are stubborn. We know you are the stubborn of the zodiac, like the bull, okay? But you need to open up to your own self, your own feelings. Maybe in your little world here as a Taurus, you're the one that's needing to work. Because when I see these both talking about how you need to work on your feelings, you're probably the one that needs to work. Wait, what am I going to use? Why would I use that? Okay. We'll go to the light shirt for you guys for this. Okay. Led by God, guided by you for Taurus here. What is going on? Taking a new course and something, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm not mentioning any of it until I'm doing it, though. Okay, one small manifestation that should only take me about a month or two. And then I got one that's about, I hope, is by a year in. It better be. <laughs> okay. I'm doing the work on it and I'm manifesting it. So I'm putting in my part. Led by God, guided by you. What is up with Taurus here? Last one out. I'm trying to take better card care of my cards. I am trying to shuffle different as I remember to. For Taurus, give me three cards for Taurus. What do they need to work on their feelings? What feelings are they having? What is all up in their feels? Watch your Monday morning feels, guys. Oh, four. Six of Cups in reverse, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords in reverse. Hmm. 
It seems you may still have feelings for an ex that you're working on trying not to because you do find somebody else maybe attractive and you want to give that person that chance. But if you don't work through these feelings about these ex, you know you can't go open up to somebody else and just be in it because it's good and it's easy and you have something there. So you're manifesting hard, but you need to work through your feelings towards. Don't go be with somebody just because you want to be with somebody. Don't be a codependent, you know, devil, knight of pentacles in reverse. You can do your own life. You need to work through your feelings from your past before you move some, to something new. And you may need to work on some feelings before you could ever reunite with somebody if you were wanting to, and you were choosing to do that. Okay? Let me just put these in wherever. We're going to go on to uh, Caps. What's up, Caps? What's going on with you guys? I have a Cap in my life that isn't doing, isn't having the finest time right now in life, but she'll be all right. Let's go for Capricorns. <laughs> I want to find out her other sides because sometimes what I'm hearing is not really a cap for new moon and Capricorn. Step up and lead. Believe in your own luck. Let's go one more out and then I'm done. For caps. Let's go. Forgive. This is for Pisces for sure. I didn't even look at the full moon in Pisces. But it's beautiful. Look at the little fish. Um, if you could just see the fish there, they're beautiful. Capricorn, who do you need to believe? Or forgive? Not believe. Why do I say believe? Maybe you need to believe somebody so you can forgive them. What's going on with this forgive for Capricorn? Two shuffles out, two shuffles out. What is Capricorn forgiving? What is going on here? Guys, cats, cats. You really need to forgive. Forgive yourself, forgive the situation, forgive the person. Because what I have here is Ace of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles. And a page of wand in reverse. So something didn't get taken off the ground here. That was it was it wasn't balanced to get going in the first place. There was a disbalance in this. Then you might be heard about it. But if you could learn to forgive. And if you're manifesting this, don't come from a manifestation without forgiveness, right? Like, how is divine going to put somebody in front of you that you don't, you don't like, you don't even forgive them? I don't even think this really got started anywhere. It was kind of doomed from the beginning with your six of wands in reverse and your uh, six of pentacles in reverse. Temperance in reverse. The moon's here. Nine of Cups is in reverse. I think you have a lot of feelings for this person and you really like them, but it didn't take off in the way you wanted. And there may be some forgiveness there. And you may be being told to ask to wait. Yeah. It's not over. But it's over for now. It's over. Oh, listen to me. I've been listening. I've been getting these songs in my head. As I'm reading now, and I'm not a, a, a song reader, but like that song, Must Have Been Love, just came into my head. And maybe it was, and maybe it's just putting the manifestation in it while you do some work. They may have to do some work to balance this out for themselves. 
They may have to do some forgiving. Take it as it resonates, Scott. All right, birds. <laughs> I'm putting you last on this read because I always do the birds first. Because you're my brothers and sisters. Let's go for Virgos. What's going on? Let's go. Led by God, guided by you, Spirit. What's going on for my birds? Okay, guys, also, I'm start. I will be up Wednesday, 11.59, Thursday morning, 12 p.m. a.m., however you want to look at it. I am going to do a new spread, like I do every Monday. It will be up every Wednesday, and it's going to be within the shadows of our subconscious, where we don't want to go, where it's scary, and we're going to get into it, okay? We're doing it. I'm coming up with a full schedule by next week. You'll see everything through the month that I will be putting up and by the times and dates. And every month I will be doing so. I loved how this came out. I took the time to get these recordings done and I realized how I need to start doing it. Now, I cannot... I'm a general manager of a restaurant. I don't have time to do each Zodiac. Eventually I will. Give me a minute. You know, things will come down in the COVID world. But until then, I'm finding these group elements and I really like tapping into it and then tapping into you guys later. I did do an all site singles, what you may uh, be coming your way, where I pulled for each Zodiac, not as a collective, but each Zodiac was pulled. I'm going to start doing that too. Okay, so speak your world into being. Sorry guys, I don't know how some wax got on these. I'm kind of upset about that. Speak your world into the being. So, Virgo, if you're manifesting this hard, I don't know why you're being called to it. So maybe you manifest in silence, and we all do. I will highly recommend you write down, you journal every single night. I've been doing it for, not just July, but the July before. All my manifestations, all my dreams, all my outlooks on things, all my things, everything. Like, my journal, I've been through multiple and every night, they're about three, four pages long. So, I mean, I talk about this channel. I talk about anything I'm manifesting. I talk about my feelings for, you know, my heart and where I'm at with that. And just anything. Journal, journal. Speak it into the world. If you don't want to speak it out loud, you can by yourself. I don't see why you couldn't. But write it in a journal. I feel like you guys need to be journaling. Nine of Pentacles, your own cards here. Self-efficient. Single, maybe. Well, I think you are because you're looking for this. Single, ready to mingle, but that's you. So we're on the right track. That was telling me that you do need a journal to put it out there in the world a little bit more than just silent uh, meditation and uh, manifestation. See, I'm going to get better at this kind of stuff. I like it. My son is ready for me to hurry up. I think it's almost their food time, so this is when they come stalk at me. We're going to have fun in the Red Rocks tomorrow with my sis. Not my sister, sister, uh, someone close to me that I call sis. We're supposed to go to the Red Rocks and hike for a few hours. Let's go. What are they supposed to be breathing into the universe or speaking? Page of Cups. This is usually an apology or a small offering of some love. And you know, I never, I've looked at this card a hundred times. And now I see that you may be having your heart open for one person and one person only. Now I gotta check this. See? You need to speak for that for the universe to help, help bring that person to you then. You really got your mind made up. Now I see these white lines shooting out. And I've told you guys I've had these forever. You're in suspension with those feet, so you're in hiding me. I'm uh, waiting, you know. Two more cards. What's up with Virgo? Why don't they want to talk? I'm a Virgo and I'm always talking. Guys, all these pages. All right. You're just 
taking your time, you feel inspired, you're just out living your life, page of wands, looking for new inspirations, new adventures. You have a heart space for one person that you're speaking it out that you're speaking it out to, and it's somebody you want to balance up with, or you guys will be level and communication and love and whatever, whatever's important to you, whatever you put on your checklist. Nine of Cups, yes, I like it. Oh. You're wanting this to be uh, unconditional. Because you may have not felt unconditionally loved in the past. Sorry, Virgos, I get it. There's a lot of people that have conditions and, you know, I live by a lot of them. So I can't say I haven't. I don't anymore. Especially if I'm going to get with somebody. You are who you are. This is why I chose you. I love you. But I'm telling you, you're going to balance up with somebody that is going to be a wish fulfillment. Because you don't want to be at a crossroad and broken hearted. Okay? Because of the past sneakiness, Seven of Swords and uh, Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody didn't put invest themselves into you and they totally judged you and they totally um wouldn't love you unconditionally that's very unconditional or um not con that's very conditioned okay and that may be why you're suspended and you're holding your heart up for one person but you're out of entering you're out uh being inspired by new things until this balance can come into your life and i love it virgo as a Virgo, I love it. I do leave myself, try to leave myself out of readings. I do. But um, I like this for you. You're saving your heart for whoever can balance with you, can go have adventures with you, to can love you unconditionally because in the past you haven't been. And that could have been from multiple people in your life. Let it be friends, family, um, like I said, it's really hard to find people out there that are really unconditional. And it's something that I started working on even more and more. Um, because who am I to put conditions on somebody that I said I love, right? And that I want to be there. Who wants to be there with a bunch of conditions? Especially if they're unrealistic. <laughs> If it's unrealistic, it's unrealistic. All right, so that is it for now, Earth Science. I was very happy to do this on Valentine's Day. I want to wish all of you a val happy Valentine's. The full moon is on the 16th. Get your manifestations out, guys. Release some of this stuff that I was seeing down here that you might be holding on to. Each one of you had something that you're still holding on to from the past. Try to release that out. Um... Get your stones outside to charge. Get some water. Put it in your bath. It's really good for you. Um, full moon water. I charge it for all my products, my candles, my necklaces, my bath bombs, everything. And if you want to know about those, they're on my website. They're on my Instagram at Powered by the Moon 7. But guys, I'm going to tell you, if you, it's like holy water in um, some, to some cultures. And so you charge a gallon of it and you put it in your bath. Okay, and you write things underneath it. Put your uh, stones out. I put my cards out. I put my stones out. I put my rings, my bracelets, my necklaces. Everything goes, and they charge. All right, Earth sites. Thank you for sticking in there this long with me. You guys were my longest. Um, didn't mean to, but uh, be great, be well, be blessed, and bye for now.